Hi, healing homies. It's your honest homegirl, Keisha Neek, and this is your intuitive timeless reading for Gemini. So if you have any Gemini placements, this reading is for you. Uh, welcome, new healing homies, to my returning healing homies. What's up, gang? How are you? Um, how I do your readings, I get into your intuitive message, and then we get into your honest talk and tarot session. So let's get into it, okay? And also, if you guys want to be nosy about what your person may want to say to you, check out the end of the video, because we do tune into what your person may would like to say to you. Uh, it's been a minute, so we got a little tongue-tied. So, Gemini, you guys are definitely um, on the move, on the go. You are trying to make your passions your paychecks. You are definitely in love at this time for some of you guys, or you're starting to fall in love. For many of you, you're moving forward with whatever goals you have. You're definitely on a straight, narrow path at this time. And I feel like you're very solid, very grounded at this time. You're not allowing people to knock you off your square. Uh, you're very forthcoming, you know, live and direct with things. I do see a lot of you guys, um, saying morning affirmations but i do recommend that you say it during the morning and at night um i feel like for some of you too you've lost interest in sex right now so maybe sex is just not a priority uh or it's just not important as it usually would be for you because i'm really hearing you know i'm really trying to get my shit together um so that's what you guys could be into at this time so those were your intuitive messages but let's look at what you need to be self-aware of, Gemini, at this time. What does Gemini need to be aware of? You have to be aware that you have some decisions that you need to make. Um, you need may need to stand on the decisions that you do make at this time as well, because I feel like the decisions that you're making are going to affect your future. Um, yeah, a lot of you guys with this divine masculine energy and this eight here, you guys are deciding to stand in your power. You're getting shit done. Um, you're focused on your abundance. You're focused on your stability, your security, your saving. You guys are cutting out certain things that you really don't need. And you're like, if it's not making me money, it's taking from me. So you're definitely making decisions on things that are liabilities and things that are assets for you because you got some, some goals, okay? Um, for others of you, you could be deciding on who you're going to deal with, okay? When it comes to partnership, you may have had three suitors and you're like, you know what? I'm making my decision. This is who I'm dating. This is who makes me happy. This who is who brings me joy. This is the person that motivates me to be a better person. And I see you being very abundant. For some of you, you're deciding to be single and doing what you want to do and dating multiple people because that's what makes you happy at this time as well. I really feel like you guys are more self-aware of what makes you happy, who makes you happy, uh, what keeps you emotionally balanced, what doesn't, and that's what you're sticking with, okay? So be aware of those things. Please also be aware that you could um, be in a third-party situation where it's like, you know, the people that you're dating are dating other people too. But again, like I said, you really don't care because if you're, you have multiple suitors and they have multiple suitors, you're just dating, it's okay, you're fine with that. Or you and the person that you're dealing with, you guys are coming to a decision that, you know, we don't want to date other people, we just want to be together. All right, so please be aware of that. Please be aware if you are dealing with a male Gemini at this time. This is what they're going through. So I may have some cross watchers watching at this time for Gemini. So just know some of them, yeah, they are dating multiple people because they, right now their focus is them. Uh, for others of you, um, this Gemini is deciding to deal with you. Okay. Let's look at family and friends. What's going on with family and friends? Okay, so when it comes to family and friends, there is a very strong, powerful connection that you have with your family and your friends. Uh, you, I hear, I'm hearing the words, well, not even word, but words stand strong as a unit. Okay, you could be manifesting that, you know, you strengthen your relationships with your family and your friends, or this is something that you've already manifested and, you know, you're seeing your manifestations at this time. 
definitely with other air signs, Gemini, Libras, or Aquariuses, or you're just working really hard uh, towards keeping a tight unit with your family and your friends, okay? I'm hearing solid individuals only. For some of you guys, you could be praying for a younger brother, a brother that's a teenager at this time, making sure that they stay disciplined, making sure that they keep, you know, their feet 10 toes down in the ground make you could be actually disciplining your brother or just checking him and letting him know like hey you're getting a little too old to be doing certain little things or whatever the case may be okay or if you have a brother that suffers from depression you know you're praying and manifesting that they step into their power that they become the great person that you know that they can be or this could be just a friend of yours, okay? For some of you, you um, are standing in your power when it comes to dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, male, younger male, okay? Uh, you may be telling them, no, I'm not going to help you. No, I'm not going to sit there and keep uh, getting you out of debt, getting you out of trouble. You need to stand on your own. You know, you need to grow up. So maybe you have brothers that are adults and they just be acting immature at this time. And you're like, no, you got to get it together. I'm not going to keep rescuing you. I'm not going to keep doing this. Or you may need to have the courage to let them know, listen, I'm not doing this anymore. I can't help you. Because I feel like there's some type of hidden secrets that maybe when you give this person money, this person is using the money to entertain themselves, entertain other people, and not what they said they were going to do with the money. And that has to change. Okay? Let's, uh, let's look at your finances, Gemini. What's going on with Gemini's finances? Okay, so you could be bringing finances together with a person. You guys could be getting married at this time. And now, you know, you're putting uh, the leases in both your names or the mortgage in both your names and getting bank accounts together. So for those that have recently gotten married, congratulations. You guys are combining your incomes now, your finances together. Uh, for others of you, you may just be in a long-term committed relationship, okay? And you guys have a lot of things together. Or this could be also a partnership here. You're coming together in a business partnership with somebody and it's a collaboration of resources and finances yeah you found your divine masculine you found your divine feminine uh, this is what you want to do okay you could be researching some things if it's beneficial to yeah some of you guys are moving quickly moving fast okay um because it's like this is what you want okay you want this this is who you want this they want you you guys um of collaborating so it's like whatever it is that you're doing like you could be like i said consolidating things too consolidating your bills your debt uh because you're focused on getting what it is that you want so if you're focused on getting a house you're making sure all your ducks in a row with your credit with uh you having the down payment um and this is a joint thing i feel like this is just not just with you but for some of you this is just with you you can consolidate and everything that you need to get done uh, removing any subscriptions that you may have subscribed to that you really don't need. It's just wasting money, but you can always get it back once you get what it is that you truly, truly want. Okay, some of you, uh, you're getting your shit together because you want to get married, okay? You want to have a family, so you know that you have to have things in order. And you are going to be controlling your emotions when it comes to your finances. So you're not going to just be spending money just to be spending it just because, oh, I got it. I can spend it. No, you're not even doing that. So whether you have it or not, you're like, no, I'm not doing any emotional spending at this time because I have goals. You want to you have you're having a new beginning when it comes to your finances. And you're like, I'm not fucking it up this time because I'm getting too old to fuck up my finances. I can't do that. Yeah, see, you are focused on your stability and your security. Maybe at one point in time, you were very immature when it came to your finances. And now you're growing up. Now you're like, I can't be immature. Yeah, see, this one, the new beginning is here. You're like, no, I can't keep doing this over and over again. I can't keep sitting there going from paycheck to paycheck. I can't keep doing You're like, enough is enough when it comes to your finances. And I'm proud of you, Gemini. Okay. 
You're like, I want to sit there and be that friend, that person that has my stuff together. I want to be that person when my friends call me up and say, hey, let's book a trip. I already got the money for it, you know, or you may have this already. And it's like, you know what? I have to make sure I uh, sustain this. OK, I have to make sure that this is not something that I mess up because I like this lifestyle that I've created for myself. OK, because, yeah, in the past, you may have sat there and made foolish mistakes and always spent your money on entertainment on clothes on things that you really didn't need and um you know that was something that you've had to learn uh let's get into love for gemini because we did what you need to be aware of we did family and friends we did your finances let's look into love and then What's going on in love? Okay, so two cards. When it, ooh, be careful of pregnancy here because you can get pregnant, all right? A lot of you guys um, could have been pregnant already and you're healing from the pregnancy. Congratulations to my Geminis that have already had a baby. Um, I do see a lot of healing here. I do see that when some of you guys do get pregnant, you will be healing throughout your pregnancy. It's like something with this baby is going to be healing something within you as well. Because I'm hearing something to nurture and something to care for. And it's like maybe this baby is what's going to really have you get your shit together. Okay. What else is going on in love? This could be happening in six days, six weeks, six months from now. Possibly with a Virgo. Okay. Some of you guys, when it comes to love, you could be healing your relationship um after a period of not speaking to a person my ear is itching like crazy my ear never itches yeah see you guys may have stopped talking to one another at one point in time in love and you know you kind of stepped back and had to reevaluate the situation but this is something that a divine um feminine ancestor spirit guide is rooting for they want you to heal they want you to have a family they want you to sit there and have this family life okay um this is something that they they they've been divinely guiding for this to happen in in the spiritual realm so whether you're ready for it or not it's coming soon okay it's it's definitely coming uh for some of you guys you know when it comes to love you may have found out that you were pregnant was scared to death and you know, you drew back and then you finally communicated or they finally communicated because it scared them. And then it's like they were divinely guided to come back and to fix things, to man up, to woman up, to be committed in a relationship. And at the same time, you may be questioning if this is what you really want. This is what you really should be doing. And I feel like things from your past mentally and emotionally has changed you forever and it's like you're recapping on the things that people may have done to you, past love life relationships, uh, past lovers and stuff like that. But it's like your ancestors want you to have courage and faith in knowing that this is not the same anymore. OK, you don't have to manifest those old triggers into this new relationship. It's time to let those baggage uh, emotions go from past relationships, Gemini. OK. I'm hearing that bag lady song by Erica Badu. So you're you're leaving those bags at the bus stop. You're not taking those with you. Okay. Uh let's see how you know love relationships have affected you in the past since you are reminiscing about that. Yeah, see, you're replaying memories. For some of you, a relationship almost had you suicidal, or you may have felt like, you know, being in a relationship where this person could have possibly even did a lot of harm to you and possibly even tried to kill you at one point in time. And you could be overthinking and being overly cautious about relationships and love, but don't allow what one bad apple did. Sometimes you got to kiss a couple of frogs, a couple of, um, you know, dirt bags to get to the one that you truly, truly need to be with. Because I feel like the person that you're with is a solid individual because you're a solid individual now. You got to remember, we date our reflection. So depending on where you are, uh, 
on this timeline, what frequency you're on, that's what you're reflecting. So if you want a newness, you want something solid, you want a family, well, that's the, what you're going with. Energetically, that's what you're attracting to you, people that want the same as you. Or if you want to be single and be dating multiple people, that's what you're attracting as well. Let's see what your person may want to say to you or what you may want to say to your person. We just got one card. It says, pour your sugar on me. And at the bottom of the deck, you are perfect. So your person thinks you're perfect. You think your person is perfect. Everything is perfect, right? Let's get a positive affirmation for you, Gemini. We have rest. You've been working hard. Take a nap and get some rest. Okay. And then we have, yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly, Gemini. Okay. And let's get some homegirl advice. Let's get some homegirl advice. Be proud, okay? Be proud of who you become in Gemini. And also continue to pay attention to the signs, okay? Because there's things that, you know, Spirit's been trying to forewarn you about, tell you about, uh, to keep going, to stop. Whatever it is, pay attention to those signs. The signs could be children telling you something. The signs could be a, lyrics to a song. The signs could be in a movie that you continuously watch all the time. Or maybe even, I'm hearing your favorite movie. Watch the, sto the love story in your favorite movie. And for some of you, that may resonate as well. But that was your reading, Gemini. I am open for reading. So if you would like a reading from me, a, a private honest talk and tarot session, I will leave all the information in the description box below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Audi.